The Art of Lunox and Selena featuring Alice. Lunox got mocked by the kids for how she looks and called an alien. But after rescuing a little boa from the cave, she was now seen as the little hero of the tribe. Lunox was considered to be the savior of the world because it's her duty to always end the war between the good and the bad. Lunox used all her strengths to temporarily absorb the power of the Lord of Light and Lord of Abyss. But after doing that, she fell into a deep sleep for a thousand years, destined to wake up when the war returns to the land of dawn. Lunox begged Alice to stop the Crimson Star from destroying the world, but Alice just laughed it off. So before the world was destroyed, Lunox set the commander through a portal to the past, hoping for a miracle to change events and save the future. Lunox and her friends were ambushed by Alice, and just as they were about to lose, Lunox unleashed a starlight pulse that drove Alice away. But just like Julian, Carmilla, Farsa, and the others, she never got their revenge on the evil queen who had powers like flight and teleportation. Lunox, along with Tigreo, Eudora, Leila, Raffaella, and the commander, joined forces to fight Alice, who wouldn't stop hunting them down. Lunox and her friends got effortlessly slammed by Valentina, who made it look way too easy. Despite the struggle to fight her, Lunox and her friends stood their ground, ensuring the heart of Anima stayed out of Valentina's hands. And, despite her immense power, Lunox struggles in combat due to a lack of training and experience. Overusing her magic could also send her back to a deep sleep for another thousand years. Lunox, Belleric, and Nathan joined forces to take down Kaja the formidable guardian of the Celestial Palace. Then we have to do it the hard way. After Lunox, Mia, and Estes fail to prevent Thomas and his forces from torching the Tree of Life, Belleric made the ultimate sacrifice to save it. Lunox, thank you for keeping me company along the way. Belleric said before sacrificing himself, after being reborn as the Abyssal, which Selena severed the heads of all the cultists with one move. Holy! That power of hers, it's insane! Alucard said as he witnessed her power. Just after showing off, Selena ended up under Alice's heels in a single strike. Luckily, Akashic reversed time to bring her back as some unknown energy messed with Alice's mind. Despite being the most beautiful and accomplished demon, the Blood Queen Alice still felt threatened, sensing a terrible power lurking within this new girl, Selena. Selena was brutally killed by the goddesses Shar and Gavanna while they fought within her body. Selena could have avoided this situation if she had listened and stayed close to Alice. Unable to watch her brutal death, Akashic quickly reversed time to save her again. Selena was nearly eaten alive by Leo, Irithel's tiger, if not for Alice intervening. Leo and Irithel fled as fast as they could. Ah, uh, they got away. Alice said, laughing at Selena. That night, Selena was saved by Alice once again from Goddess Gavanna. Alice dodged Gavanna's attacks and quickly dragged Selena to safety. Selena challenged Alice, and they exchanged magic blows. When Alice grew tired, 
She ended it with a single strike, blowing a hole through Selena's stomach and killing her. Akashic stepped in once again, reversing time to save Selena. He sensed the unknown energy, interfering with Alice's mind again. After all, Alice never wanted to kill Selena. Selena challenged Alice again, and with the help of Goddess Shar, she managed to knock Alice to the ground. Selena stopped Goddess Gavanna from controlling her with the help of Akashic's special plant, which turned out to be Gavanna's weakness. Selena's greed irritated Aldous, so he waved his arm and vented all the hatred on Selena. With a single punch, he almost took her life. He easily defeated Selena along with her abyssal army. What is power if you can't wield with control? What is power without the brilliant mind? What is power if you can't escape your enemies when you need to? Or if it leaves you trapped in a thousand years sleep? True power isn't in the magic itself. It's the strategy, the wisdom, and knowing when to strike and when to retreat. Alice does not just rely on magic. Her real strength is in her mind. Even without spells, she would still command fear. And that's exactly why she's the most accomplished hero in the Land of Dawn. No one else even comes close. This audiobook is made by Believe in Alice. Thank you all for reading along with me through the pages of this storybook.